Hello class, today we will be talking about databases and data warehouses. So a database is a storage of uh, information. Okay, this is where you store the information and, and um, you can retrieve it anytime you want. Okay. So these are the objectives of this uh, week. Explain the difference between traditional file organization and database approach to managing digital data uh, traditional file is where you put it on the where you put the things on inside the filing cabinet uh, it's paper and you have paper and um, uh, type uh, typewriter and uh, the database approach is uh, using the computer Explain how relational and object-oriented database management systems are used to construct database, populate them with data. Populate means putting the data inside and manipulate the data to produce information. Enumerate the more important features and operations of a relational database and the popular database uh, model. So these are the three objectives here. And then understand how data modeling and design creates a conceptual blueprint of the database. Discuss how databases are used on the web. List the operations involved in transferring data from transactional database to data warehouses. So we have uh, six objectives now. Okay. So first of all, um, what is managing digital data? So businesses collect and dissect data for many purposes. Information is very important for our business, okay, to make decisions. So we use we know we use all, all the time we use information to to make decisions. So now to be able to do this information, we the data stored in a database format, easy access and manip now if you put it on a database format. It's easy access and manipulation. Data databases have a, have had a profound impact on the business. An information industry has been created. So right now we have we have this uh, uh, an information industry has been created like Google or uh, Amazon. Okay, these are uh, these are uh, these are uh, databases about. Uh, or uh, eBay is another database. Okay, these are examples of databases that uh, that uh, you, you can look at and okay. So the traditional file approach, no mechanism for tagging, retrieving, and manipulating data. So you have paper and pencil and uh, filing cabinets. But a database provides a more powerful mechanism for managing and manipulating data okay so traditional approach shortcomings program data dependency high data redundancy and then you have two three of copies of the same thing low data integrity and then uh, you have data redundancy the duplication of the database you have so many papers data integrity and the accuracy of the data because it keeps on changing because of uh, you, you you know you from one to another, you don't you don't anymore know. Uh, where is that? Where is, what is this? Okay. So this is a uh, record one, record two. Okay. Uh, so you see, these are uh, some of the uh, the old style kind of a database. Okay. The data voice approach. Data pieces organized as entities. Okay. So they're organized as entities. So an entity is an object about which an organization chooses to collect data about, such as people, events, and product. And then now uh, the, the smallest piece of this is called the character, the smallest piece of data, a single letter or a digit. A field is a single. So you put the characters together, you come up with a field, a single piece of information about people, events, or products. Now, if you put them all together, you will have a record, okay, a record of a, a line. A record means a line. 
And then if you put all these lines together, you'll have a file. Okay, database fields can hold images, sounds, video, and clips. Okay. Field name allows easy access to the data. Now, the, 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 the whole thing goes into a database management system. You can build databases, populate a database with data, manipulate data in a database. Okay, so, like here is the example of a, um, of a hierarchy of data. So, you have characters, you have uh, fields, you have records, you have files, and you have a... Uh, this is like a database here, so uh, put all put together. Okay. So database approach, this is the, the new approach. This is the new way of doing approach, a new way of doing things. Data sources, transaction processing system, source data input, scanning, and okay. And then you have the web and mobile activities, purchase external data, Non-operational transaction data from, from from social media. Sometimes you get some information from so, social media and you and you put it there. Query. A query is a, a, a question or you want to get some information from the database. That is a query. A message to the database requesting data from specific records or fields. Sometimes you just want to know the social security number. Or just the name of the person. Database must be properly secured. Not everyone should have access to all data. Users will have a different views of the data based on the data they are allowed to see. Okay. And then the person uh, running all of this or doing the work for all of this thing uh, is called the database administrator. Uh, the person responsible for managing database. Now these, these kinds of people they they. Uh, they get a lot of money, okay, uh, to 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 be a database administrator. It's a very good job. Now, after uh, if you take uh, computer science, you know, um, this is this is one of the choices that you can have as a job. Okay. So here are uh, the database administrators here. Okay, so. View of a uh, human resource manager, so view of the payroll. So th these are different people who are trying to get some information from the database. You have the resource, uh, human resource, payroll, and the project manager. They're trying to get uh, some information from the database. So like the uh, human resource manager, this is what this information is what they need. The payroll manager, these are the information that they need, and the project manager. Just the name and the hours work of its uh, employee. So they, they can select what information they want to get. So we have the database models. Okay, huh? I mean, general logical structure, how records are stored in the database, how the relationship between the records are established, the, the relationship between the, the fields, okay, to make the database. Database models deeper in how records are linked with each other how users can navigate the database, retrieve records, and create the data. So, you know, how how do you navigate the database? How do you retrieve the records and create the, create the records? How do you do that? Okay, that's uh, the that's job of the database administrator. Okay. Now, what is a, a relational database? Relational database model consists of tables like uh, Excel tables. So a record is a called the tuple. Attribute is a field, the, the columns, okay, the columns, and the relational, the relations of uh, like uh, Ted Dalton. Ted is the first name and, and, and Dalton is the last name. So how are they recorded? It's my name. It's my relations of Ted and Dalton, relation between first name and last name. To design a relational database, you must understand the entities to be stored in the database and how they relate, like Ted, Dalton, first name, last name. Okay. Tables are in interdependent with each other and related 
but related to each other. So we have the key, a key whose value identify the records. Okay, like one, two, three, four, five. Okay, yeah. so join table combines the data of two or more tables. You can join the tables like the one I showed you a while ago. Okay, and then you have the primary key by which records are uniquely identified. And then you have the, you know, each record must have a unique key. And then you have the composite key. Okay, so like this one here. So these are these are composite keys, okay. And then this are the this is the primary key uh, of its name here. So if you're going to look for Jim Marasco, this is the this is the this is the number that you have to type, and all of this will show up. Okay. Okay, and that is another example. Okay. Now the foreign key a field that matches the, to the primary key in another table. So, the, uh, you know, the primary key of this table, and, the, and if you use the same primary key to another table, that will now be called the primary key. So, we have uh, many types of relationship on the tables. We have one to many and many to many relationships. This is, these are the, you know, like um, uh, one item in the table is linked to many items in other tables. Okay. I mean, the name, like my name. It, it, it can show in other tables, like if somebody wants to get my first name, okay, so uh, Ted, so, and then they create their own table, so they, they'll have a, uh, they'll have a information about my first name, or, so here is an example of um, uh, publishers of books, okay. So now that's the relational database. Now we have the object-oriented model. So we have we have two kinds of uh, um, we have the relational database model, and then we have the object-oriented model. Okay, it uses object-oriented approach for database structure. And what is encapsulation? Combine the storage of data and relevant procedures to process it. Allows object to be planted in different data sets. Now, sometimes inheritance is the ability to create a new object by replicating the, the characteristics of an existing parent object. Okay, so this is the uh, kind of uh, object-oriented model. So look, look at this. Uh, so this is a uh, model here, and this is another model, and then you can combine them together. Okay. So relational uh, operation creates a temporary subset of a table or tables used to create a limited list of joint tables. Three most important uh, relational operations is select, project a certain certain columns, and join the tables, join the objects, so you can have, have a new information okay and then now we have uh, the structured query language this is the language that uh, you have to learn if you want to become a database administrator okay advantages it's an international language everybody you know who's in i mean you can be from france from italy from the united states but sql is just one language Easy to remember and the commands are intuitive. Now these are uh, programming languages. This is the programming language used for database management. Okay, and then uh, what's the schema? A plan that describes the structure of the database, including names, sizes of the field, identification of the primary key, and the relationship. That's the schema. Okay, hey. I mean, it's like planning. You use the schema to plan. How how can I, how like, like my name Ted Dalton. Okay, Ted. First name, last name. Now you have to have a, da a data dictionary as uh, information about the data and their organization. And then you have the metadata. You hear this a lot. Additional details about the data source of where did you get the data tables, field and index, programs, processes, 
population rules, what is inserted or updated, and how often. Okay. Here's an example of that. Okay, like, uh, okay. Now, data modeling. Our databases must be carefully planned. It's very important to plan it. Designed to meet business goals. Okay. So, data modeling, analyzing an organization's data. What are the data in this organization? And become a proactive process and develop a conceptual blueprint of the database. Entity relationship diagram, graphical representation of the entity relationship. What, like last name and first name, both of them are entities. And how are they related? It's my first name and last name, or your first name and last name. That, that's what it means. ERD, components, you have boxes, lines, crossbars, circles, it indicates options. Now, this is, this, is a, this is how to model the data when you, when you plan it to, when you, you do an entity relation up diagram and crop it, uh, you know, like this. Uh, you know, uh, let's say crop it there. Okay, circles are optionals. Okay. And lines indicate the relationship between the, the data. So this is one data here. And then it has a relationship to this other data here. Okay. So these are the uh, components of uh, an ERD. Okay, so see, this is uh, one many to many, one to many, this is one to many, one course to one department, okay, one college to a, a department to a college, one college, okay, there are many departments in one college, many departments in one, one college, that's what it means. Okay, many students, many students to many professors. Okay. So these are the entities here or the fields. This is the entity and these are the fields. Professor's ID, the, the primary key, and then the last name, first name, department, telephone number of the professor. Okay. Databases on the web, web is dependent on the database. Okay. Um, organizations must link their databases to the web. The web is the internet that we talk about on on, uh, on on week six. So the interfaces, the interface of the web, the interface of the web is uh, what you see on the screen. Okay. Now these are some of the these are some of the languages that you use: Java, Sebrets, Active Server, PHP. Okay, some some languages that you use to program the the, the web and also the the the, in, the interface of the web. Uh, the interface is the front the front end of the and uh, the back end is the database. Okay, so so this is the computer here. So uh, blank search form and then completed search the ASP to the program. And then now uh, the, uh, the the information gets back to the users of the computer here. Okay. So now all of this is uh, put in a big warehouse. Data collections are used for daily transactions. Accumulation of transactions of data is useful. And then uh, now you put this in a big server, server a, a big computer, large repository of database that supports management decision making typically relational data is collected from transactional database. And then you have the data mart, a, a small collection of the data focusing on a particular subject or, the, or department, like accounting, marketing. So they have a, a data mart for that. Okay, it's called the data mart. Some of this, uh, it's very important to know this, uh, this meaning of these words, uh, because if you work as a database manager, or in a database um, environment. These are the words that they are using to, to communicate to each other. Okay. Uh, from database to the uh, data warehouses. So the, the database are put in a warehouse. Uh, warehouses require large storage capacity. This one, you know, you have a large storage capacity. 
and then the main it's a mainframe computers a big big computers are usually and then uh it's case, it's case uh, scalability means you can have one record or you can have my name only or you can have millions of names there okay uh it has the uh the, for the capacity and data warehouse grows continually you know it's becoming bigger and bigger because you're putting but but you have to organize it okay you have to organize the data that uh, it will not be very confusing for you to look for all this information so places in data warehousing so etl extraction pace transformation pace and loading pace extraction pace is you you get the information from the server and transformation pace cleans and modify the data okay properly bit data warehouse becomes a single source of all data required by the by your business or by your company or by your organization whatever it is okay so pages in uh, data warehousing data mining analytical uh, processing all up used in data warehouse managers extract business intelligence for decision making business intelligence is like hey how how will i do this okay sometimes you you put things together and and uh, you will know how to do those things okay so here is the here is the diagram internal source data external source data and then you extract the extract and transform the data you have the metadata the data warehouses the data marts like accounting and then the, the serves all up and data mining here summary so what did we talk about about databases and data about putting data or putting information in the computer that's what we're talking about here so we collect vast amount of data now we have two ways to do that traditional by paper and pencil or we put it in a computer character a character is the smallest piece of data like abc a field is a multiple of characters. Record is a collection of related fields. And then you have a file. Now you have the database management system. Okay. And then here are more. We have the we have now the relational and object-oriented database. And then keys are used to form links among entities. Now you have primary key. This is the uh, unique identifier like of uh, of something. Okay, like like this one, what is the unique identifier of this? We are now on week seven is the unique identifier of this. Week seven, okay, or for, for this class, we have week one, week two, week three. So that's a primary key. If you're going to look for, hey, what did we do on week one or week two? So you, 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 you go to week one and week two and then you have a unique identifier, okay? So database designers conduct data modeling create the entity relationship, the relationship between entities to plan the database. Okay. And many databases are linked to the web. We have the web like Amazon or, uh, yeah, you can order things from Amazon. Okay, so uh, well, what's in that database? Things that you can buy. Data warehouses contain huge collections of historical transactions and you have the etl okay the transformation extraction you you get the data you transform the data and you load the data okay invasion of privacy is exacerbated by database technology okay sometimes like social security number is a okay it's a very important uh, information about us and you don't want it to be all over the place Big data is a collection of storage of ever more detailed quantities of data. So lots and lots of data. 